Hey, Virgo Summon Rising Venus. This is what we got going on for March 11, 2021. I got the Six of Swords, King of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles here, Virgos. You guys can be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, a Scorpio, a Taurus, Aquarius, another Virgo, a Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pride, Scorpio, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, Virgos, let's get it. Somebody here ended up emptying out your cup and walking away from you here, Virgos. It looked like they didn't want to take your offer. For whatever reason it was, this person could have been married and acting like they were single or whatever the case is here, Virgos. Um, maybe this person was just being more of a player and thought that they could play you, but you guys were not having that shit. You guys were just like, no, you know what? You can go be a player. I'm not dealing with that shit. And I'm going to just focus on myself and my, and my own cup. Even though I have a cup that you emptied, I still have my cup. And I'm going to keep my cup close to my heart because that's my self-love. You're not going to take my self-esteem and my self-confidence away from me. That's exactly what they was trying to do. They were trying to break you down here, Virgos, but you weren't having it. You, are, you guys are just, you're, you're already too much stable, uh, sweethearts, all right? Regardless, though, this person wants to come back towards you, Virgos. But whatever it is that they're trying to offer you, you guys may not actually want it. You may actually not want, the, sorry, you may actually not want this person's offer when they come back towards you. They're going to come back in towards you, Virgos, acting all innocent and, and as if nothing had ever happened. But you guys might still also be dwelling on the past. Like, yo, I remember when I offered you my cup and you decided that you didn't want it and you didn't want to be in a relationship with me. You thought that you can play me as a fool and take my kindness for weakness. But at the end of the day, I'm good because even though I forgive you, I'm not forgetting what it is that you did to me. Two of Pentacles. This person may have invested in you or you invested in them for quite some time, Virgos, but then nothing ended up going in you guys' favor. This person I do see is getting their karma, Virgos, especially if they try to invest in you and start planting and planting seeds here with you and then got up and left afterwards. It looks like they could have potentially are suffering with financial problems at the moment. And they're getting their karma, all right, Virgos? But at the end of the day, there is a Gemini Libra Aquarius who is curious about you, trying to figure out what it is that you're up to, sweethearts, trying to find the wisdom because of the fact that they put an ending to the relationship between you and them and they made a very uh, impulsive decision by just emptying out your cup, even though that they should never have done that. Sun card, they're not happy where it is that they're at anymore. They're just not happy, all right, Virgos? There could be an Aquarius who's stalking you at the moment, Virgos, trying to figure, it is what it, trying to figure out what it is that you guys are up to. This person is going to be hoping, Virgos, that they're going to be able to come back and get you back, all right? They're, they're, they're doing the best they can to get the strength to come back towards you. You guys could have been married to this person as well, especially with the fact that I have the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups, Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. Some of you guys may have been in a soulmate connection with this person. Uh, for the ones who were married and had gone through separation... And even if you're not, it doesn't matter. Energy is energy at the end of the day. It's saying that this person is trying to get the strength to come back towards you, Virgos. They're hoping, wishing that you're going to end up taking them back. You see me? But they are going to be trying to come back towards you, but you guys may not want their offer. Queen of Wands energy, this person could have been in a, have left to go be in a karmic relationship with a Queen of Wands energy. Someone who's very promiscuous, somebody who is having financial issues at the moment, who needed financial help. Especially if you guys were married, Virgos, who were or planning on getting married or whatever the case is. It's saying that this person is very regretful and remorseful for how they treated you. They're starting to realize now, Virgos, that you were the one that they were supposed to marry. That they should never have walked into the Queen of Wands energy there or the King of Wands for that matter. They would definitely went into the wrong direction and they are... Five of Cups, they're trying to get out of it, okay? They're trying to get out of feeling guilty about how they did you wrong, sweethearts. It could have been also another Virgo who's um, finally realizing that they made a really big mistake. I do see that there is going to be a Virgo, Taurus, Leo, uh, Scorpio, who Aries, who's going to end up coming back towards you guys, Virgos. <sighs> And they're going to want to see you again. They want to celebrate with you, be with you again, uh, and make a relationship here with you is what I'm seeing. But they've been in hermit this whole entire time. So a lot of you guys haven't been even hearing from this person. Some of you guys may have not even heard from them, spoken to them in quite some time, Virgos. But it looks like they want to come back towards you. They're done reflecting on the relationship. They're done reflecting on what it is that they did wrong. They know that they made a mistake, but it's nobody's problem but themselves. You snooze, you lose, all right? So this person might be getting uh, karma with their finances here, so they might not be doing well financially, especially with the Queen of Wands energy in reverse here, Virgos. It's saying that this Queen of Wands doesn't have any money. They're, they're like, 
they're like going through the couch looking for pennies and and change to to hold themselves down but if you guys left a queen of cups to go be with the karmic virgos it's saying that there's that queen of wands is going to end up potentially leaving you to go be with a person who's like a boss an entrepreneur a businessman or has a high position like a manager for instance but that's going to be coming into the near future all right this person might also be having financial problems too. So this one here, she goes to wherever there is money. She goes to where, wherever, whoever can take care of them, whoever can take care of her, that's where they're going to go. She's somebody who likes money. She likes to be taken care of. She likes to be spoiled, this one here. All right, Virgo. So if she sees something that she likes that has a lot of money or that they can spoil her or feed her or whatever, that's where she's going to go. I'm telling you, this person's going to end up leaving because... They're already having financial problems and they need to be taken care of. They're not capable of getting their money on their own. It's not happening. That one doesn't know how to be independent uh, the way you guys are knowing how to be independent. All right, Virgos? So there might be a new beginning here with your twin flame, Virgos. That might be coming in between now and August is what I'm seeing here, sweetheart. Okay. This person is very attractive to you, okay, Virgos? But at the end of the day, they did leave you out in the cold, and you guys are going to end up having to make a decision on whether or not you're going to want to take your twin flame back. This person is incredibly attractive to you here, Virgos, all right? At the bottom of the deck, I got the Nine of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Two of Cups. So they had you. So you were the Queen of Cups, all right, Virgos? You guys were the ones that were supposed to heal this person, take care of them. They were supposed to take care of you, but they didn't appreciate you at the time that they had had you. Now they're stressed out by the fact that they manipulated you and they, they manipulated the soulmate. Who manipulates the soulmate? Who manipulates somebody that they're supposed to be married to or or God sent to them for them to get married? They made a really big mistake, Virgo. This person's trying to use their intuition and find wisdom to uh, find a way to come back towards you because they're filled with burden. And they know, they know that you were the one that they were supposed to end up with. You were their victory. You were their soulmate. You were the one that they were supposed to end up with. But they chose to go onto another path because they weren't ready to be in a full out relationship. Remember, they was in a king position, but they didn't want to be <clears throat> in a commitment. They wanted to just do things passionately and act like they can come and go as they please. But that's not the truth. This person is really in their head here, Virgos. All right? I mean, I got the nine of swords, ace of swords, and the four of swords. That's all mental. All mental, Virgos. All mental. They really in their head. Like they, they're so full of burden because they know they manipulated you. They might be suffering financially at the moment, but that's their karma. They're really stuck in their head about you. They're trying to find they're like they go they they're gonna go in and out. So sometimes they talk and sometimes they, they sometimes they don't talk to people, okay? But when they get the strength to, they're gonna start coming out, they're gonna start talking again, Virgos. But it looks like they're having a time out. They literally went into timeout, Virgos, trying to figure out what the hell ha what the hell made them treat you the way that they had treated you. I always say in my readings, how are you going to do a Queen of Cups like that? <laughs> how are you going to do a Queen of Cups dirty like that when when they're just genuine and compassionate and they don't know how, they don't have an issue showing you love? They literally wear their hearts on their sleeves. Uh, seven of Wands here, Virgos. All right, so. Maybe this person ended up blocking you. When you guys were trying to communicate with this person, this person ended up blocking you here, Virgos. But I feel like maybe Gemini Libra Aquarius is going to try and reach out to you. But you guys have this person blocked. And you guys are not going to end up getting their text message, Virgos, especially if you guys block them. Knight of Wands, this person could have cheated on you, lied to you, Virgos, and ran off on you, which I already mentioned that they could have ghosted you too, right? King of Pentacles energy, it could have been a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who was... Wanting to just literally be a player. They dipped off on you guys, Virgos. They put you in some sort of competition. And now you guys are kind of feeling definitely very much so defensive and cutting with your words as well. Like, just tell me the truth. Just tell me the truth. But this person's just like, I'm going to go focus on my money. I'm going to go do a player thing. I'm going to run in and out, in and out of people's lives. Put people in competition. But who are they? Who are they to do anybody like that at the end of the day? 
Two of Swords here, Virgos, all right? You guys are going to end up having to make a decision because you guys are being patient with the whole situation at the moment. You're not rushing anything here, Virgos. Three of Pentacles, okay? Maybe this person had you doing all the work and they wasn't really doing a whole lot, especially if you guys were invested in this person emotionally as well. I do see that this person is going to be coming back towards you here, Virgos. They are going to be taking their time because obviously they are jumping on their horse that doesn't even want to move and then they have to get off the horse and then they have to get off the horse virgos and they have to start walking because the horse doesn't want to walk with them so then they have to walk they have to literally walk towards you because you are the nine of cups they know that they're going to have to come back and take their time to get back to you slowly in order to reach the nine of cups they know that you are their wish fulfillment they know that they made a really big mistake here virgos it looks like they made a bad mistake there they're trying to manifest you back in because they're calling judgment on the situation here virgos they're they're calling judgment on how they walked away from you a lot of you guys have dark hair, Virgos, like beautiful, long, dark black hair, like really cute, fair skin as well. So you guys are just really cute. Uh, but they're calling judgment on the situation here, Virgos. They're realizing that they, they're, they're realizing now that you weren't the problem. They were the problem. All right. So they're finally using their intuition like, damn, Pisces energy there. They could have been, you guys could have been also wait, patiently waiting for this person to come back for you guys too, Virgos. This person is coming in with an apology, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is feeling like they're having to hold on to you. So they're still cleaving to you, Virgos. They're still holding on to you. They they haven't let you go in their heart space. So if you ever ask this person, like, who do you love? I'm sure the first person that they would have in their mind would be your name. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, Virgos. They're going to be coming back towards you. This person has a lot of emotion here for you, Virgos. And not only that, they have a lot of emotion for you and a lot of love for you. And they're holding you in their heart space here as well. They want to start coming to give to you, Virgos. So they want to spoil you, give you a gift. Maybe they even want to give you some sort of money as well. Uh, just to balance up the scales. Thinking that if I give Virgo Summon Rising Venus some gifts and some money, then I get to balance up the scales. And make it kind of even, uh, to be honest with you here, Virgos, a cancer position. They are going to be rushing back towards you, all right? So they are going to be gifting you with a message that's going to be coming in just now. But this person, Virgos, they lied and they cheated on you as well. Remember with the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands energy? They left you to go be with the Queen of Wands energy, Virgos. They left you to go be with somebody who's promiscuous. They chose the weaker person because you guys have so much respect for yourself and self-love and self-worth, Virgos. They didn't know how to handle a woman like you or a man like you. So they ended up dipping off to go be with somebody who's much more weaker, which what they did. But now they got the karma. Karma hit their pockets. And now they're struggling financially. And I'm pretty sure that this person doesn't want to come towards you when they're not doing well financially. So until they get their finances back up, that's when they're going to start coming back towards you because they're going to be able to uh, afford gifts. They're going to be able to afford to go buy you gifts to come back towards you and spoil you. That's what they want to do. It could be also a Libra, a Cancer. Always use your intuition here, Virgos, all right? Always, you guys probably already feel like this person's coming back. You guys, uh, you guys already know it, Virgos. You guys can sense it that this person's actually coming back towards you because you know that they love you too. You guys know that this person made a mistake and, and you guys are able to feel this person's energy. This person's kind of, um, how do you call it? Not sucking your energy. Not like that, Virgos. But because you guys are twin flames, soulmate connection, you guys kind of share each other's energy so whatever you're feeling they're feeling whatever they're feeling you're feeling so maybe last night or the day before or last week or whatever you guys are able to sense that something's going on with your person but you can't really put a finger on it it looks like this person wants to come back towards you right virgos um for the ones who had a family with this person and a child with this person it looks like they could have cheated on you virgos and they are going to be getting karma for the ones who have a family who have a child and who had a home it's saying that your person is, is getting their karma now for the way that they cheated on you, all right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person's going to want to communicate Virgos with you. Uh, they are going to start sending you a bunch of text messages, but they're also feeling, they're feeling messed up because they don't feel messed up because of... Um, they feel messed up, Virgos, because of what they chose to do with their actions. They know that they hurt you and they feel so fucked up within themselves that they were able to hurt you like that. 
So they know that the way that they hurt you was unacceptable. They should never have had hurt you like that. And they know that some of you, you, some of you guys still feel very much so betrayed, backstabbed by this person. So even though they're going to be shooting you with a bunch of loving text messages and arrows of love or whatever the case is, you guys still feel backstabbed by this person, Virgos. All right, this person could be at a distance here from you, Virgos. They're going to may have to travel towards you. All right, they're not close to you at all. Some of you guys may have to take a plane. Some of you guys is two hour drive, two and a half hour drive, 30 minutes and up for sure. Okay, Virgo, this person wants to see you again, three of cups, but you guys are healing yourselves from everything because even though, see, they are so regretful, Virgos, because of the way that they backstabbed you. Who backstabs a fucking empress? Who hurts an empress or an emperor? An empress or an emperor is not going to tolerate that shit. They're going to choose themselves every single time. You can't put an empress or, em or an emperor in, in competition because they don't compete. <laughs> Empresses and emperors, they don't compete with anybody. It's like, yeah, you want to do somebody else or you want to choose some. Okay, well, no big deal. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go do my thing. I'm going to go manifest and I'm going to go live my life because I'm protected and I'm of the divine and I'm going to do my thing no matter what. Three of Swords. All right, Virgos, Moon card, Seven of Cups. So this person created a lot of illusion here for you guys, Virgos, but at the end of the day, you guys have a lot of options that are about to be coming in for you. So choose wisely, Virgos, all right? <clears throat> this person here, Virgos, they had a lot of secrets. They, they act very mysterious. But the thing is, the secret would be is that they're actually heartbroken with the fact that they chose from the wrong cup here, okay? They chose fantasy over over you pretty much, and they caused a lot of illusions and, and became very delusional as well. Eight of Pentacles, they're going to want to come back and work and work on the relationship here, Virgos. They know that you're single. They know that you're uh, very independent. You can take care of yourself. They know that you're very busy with your work, so whatever it is that you guys do for work, it, it, it keeps you very much so busy, Virgos, all right? This person was very toxic, Virgos. They, they maybe have created a lot of, a little bit of paranoia for you too because they, you weren't able to trust them as well. This person could have done drugs, alcohol, or whatever the case is, Virgos. But it's saying that this person is very much so toxic. They create a lot of fantasies. They create a lot of illusions uh, for you and for themselves. Like They become very paranoid, Virgos, is what I'm seeing here. Uh, three of Wands, this person hasn't let you go yet. They want to come back towards you. They are trapped in their head, Virgos. All right, because they're afraid that you actually have met somebody else. Page of Wands. They're scared that because you're in the separation, they think that you may have met somebody else. Well, they should think that, Virgos, because you guys are the Empress. Nobody does an Empress dirty and think that they're not. But the thing is, you guys, I don't think you guys, I think you guys have been talking to people here and there, Virgos, but I don't know if you guys really got into a full out relationship with anybody since this person or whatever the case is. But this person knows that you guys are capable of having whoever it is that you guys want. But the difference between you and uh, Queen of Wands, Virgos, you guys don't jump from person to person. Nah, man. You guys take take your time. You guys heal yourselves. You guys keep it moving. And then you guys focus on work to numb your feelings most of the time. Uh, no shade, Virgos. And then you guys pick up and you heal yourself. And then you guys rise to being the Empress. Okay, you guys literally go from the Queen of Cups, the Empress, and then saying, you know what? I could be in a relationship with you and I could choose because I have many options, but I'm going to stay single, nine of pentacles, pre-empress, and I'm going to live my life and I'm going to focus on my money and my and my riches because you guys are still going to be guarded, all right, Virgos? This person has been through a lot of toxic shit here, Virgos, but they still are guarded and they are still holding tight onto you as well. They're wanting to come back for you, but they're afraid that you have met somebody else, sweethearts, and... Um, they're not happy with the decision that they made, Virgos. This person knows that they have a lot of love here for you, but they're they're unhappy with the fact that they chose a different direction is what I'm picking up on, sweeties. And and and, and it doesn't look good at all, Virgos, that they ended up putting you second here. And they should very well so be stressed out in the head at the moment for the fact that you guys may have met somebody else. Some of you guys may have met somebody else, Virgos, but in their head... They think that you have already met somebody else, but you have not. You are still single. You are still focused on your money, working, Virgos. 
just take care of yourselves, Virgos. Do what's best for you guys and uh, live your life. Be happy. We're in the year 2021. Everyone's getting a divorce nowadays. I mean, you can only imagine how many divorce papers are happening in the world right now. So be cute, be beautiful, be handsome, be loving. Never regret being kind to people who were to who were bad on you because it shows their character and it shows that you would never be something like them. So at the end of the day, they are in their head. They are getting karma. It's hitting their pockets. And uh, you guys are going to end up having to be the ones to make a decision on whether or not you guys are going to want this person to come back. Also, whoever this person left you for is going to end up leaving them to go be with an emperor because they think that they have more money, but they're also suffering with finances. And the person that they left you to go be with, they don't got no money. That person only goes to men or to women who have money and who can take care of them. Kind of like they look for sugar daddies. That person there has daddy issues for sure. Thanks, cuties. Bye.